let's talk a bit about the the future. You've mentioned you have sort of different phases that you expect, like with the whitelisting going away. What are what are sort of the key? key uh, next so steps we want to see. You know, Flux will probably uh, for all intents and purposes, Flux will be with this having the largest decentralized. We're we're the largest decentralized compute network now, but we're going to solidify ourselves as the player in the space for web three if you're really building whether you're using the metaverse uh, which i think is just a buzzword but but essentially yeah we all know that it's going to be you know big if you're deploying you know dApps for nfts if you're you know standing up a, a decentralized application that you want to run flux will just be, naturally be the go-to um because we're agnostic you could see other platforms that are doing you know other things that we're going to work with that that will the deploy things on the network that makes sense. So uh, what does that look like? Well, we, we're we not a privacy-based coin. We remove the privacy as, aspect, but there are projects that do privacy much better than us. And you're going to see those their technologies deployed on our infrastructure. So we are literally the glue that's going to bind this web thing, web three thing together. And we never wanted to be, it's not sexy. It's not the, you know, you know, blazing a new trail of DeFi. It is the support model behind it. That's going to make all of that possible. It's yeah, the backbone. backbone. That's good. Yeah.